Hey, recently I have received Turbox controller to test it with Capture One. I have been skeptical about this device since the Capture One Speed Edit makes retouch panels almost redundant. Still, I gave it a try and it appears that Turbox brings a physical sense into Speed Edit workflow and makes it way faster. You use keyboard keys to activate a tool, but instead of moving a mouse, you adjust an image by rolling a knob. You don't need to move your hand, all the primary adjustments are now under your fingertips. This makes your editing tangible without an awkward experience of using regular retouch panels. Besides, you can now extend catch on capabilities with macro commands. Turbox allows you to set a sequence of capture on actions to a single button. For instance, you can copy adjustments, move to the next image and apply them in a single click, like this. Want to copy and apply all the adjustments except for layers? Easy! With macros, you can even set a button for edit with Photoshop. Now let's see how all of these work. Turbox itself is a pretty small, nicely built device. All the buttons are easily clickable with a single hand. It fits well right and left hand setups. I use it with my right hand so that I can access all the regular capture on shortcuts and speed edit keys with my left hand, as I am used to. Each Turbox button and knob is programmable so that you can set a key combination, mouse action or macro commands to it. Besides, you can create multiple setups for each app and quickly switch between them. Turbox is having a Black Friday sale now, offering a 15% discount plus a free storage case. On top of that, you can get $10 off using this code at checkout, Alex on Raw. Thus, you can now save $37 on Turbox with a storage case by paying $142 instead of $179. So, here is how I use Turbox with my Caption on workflow. Let's start with importing. Caption on import lacks the feature that displays the next image as soon as you check a photo. With Turbox, I have created a macro for this. By clicking a single button, I can check or uncheck an image and immediately switch to the next shot. I use the central knob to scroll images quickly. Also, I have set a button for checking and unchecking all the images. This macro moves the cursor to the pick all option and performs a left mouse button click. For image calling, I have set the central knob to scroll photos small buttons to color tag images and dials to assign ratings. Also, I can quickly toggle focus mask and exposure warnings. The large top button zooms in on an image 100% and I can quickly zoom back by double pressing it. This way, I can call images without any extra movements. Next, we are switching to my image editing setup. We can change Turbox presets just by clicking a button. I love Capture on Speed Edit workflow, so I have set up Turbox to get the maximum out of it. The central knob controls adjustments, and I'm just pressing regular Speed Edit keys to activate the tools. I'm using the two small buttons for copying and applying adjustments. The top button turns on before-after and double-click toggles before-after mode. If you adjust photos in groups, you can switch between image sets with a dial on Turbox. For a series of similar images, I have set up a macro that automatically copies adjustments, selects the following image and applies them. Thus, I can go through a large number of similar images quickly. Some photos might contain layers that I don't need on the next image. That's why I have recorded a macro that removes layers during copying. If you miss a shortcut for Edit with Photoshop, you can set up a macro for it as well. Here is how it works. We need to record three actions. First, mouse click on the image section of the Capture On menu. 
Second, mouse movement to edit with area. Third, mouse click on Photoshop title. This is it. Now we can run this sequence of actions with a single click on Toolbox. By the way, when you switch to a new app, Toolbox auto-adjusts your setup for this app. Using Toolbox macros, you can set up a shortcut for almost any action in Capture One. Let's take my favorite trick with layers. I love to duplicate a mask on a new layer and then invert it. Manually, it requires some time to perform, but with a macro, you can easily automate it like this. Another thing that I miss in the default caption workflow is separate auto levels adjustment. Sometimes I wish to auto adjust only a black point or a white point on my image. With Toolbox, I have recorded two macros that auto-adjust levels and reset white or black points. You can download my Toolbox presets for Capture One from the link below the video. Feel free to use them in your Toolbox setup. Keep in mind that macros with mouse movements are designed for a particular workspace. That's why most probably you will need to adjust them to your screen resolution and Capture One interface. Still, the logic behind macros is pretty universal and you can easily adapt it for your workspace. I use layers a lot in Capture One, so I have created a separate preset for layers workflow for my left hand. The central knob controls brush size and the scroll wheel adjusts opacity. The top button fits perfectly for switching between the regular and magic brushes. Small buttons create heel and clone layers. The dial adjusts the opacity of a layer. The up and down keys switch layers. The left and right keys create empty and filled layers. Tower button toggles a layer on and off. The two big buttons work for refine mask and loom arrange. Finally, the side button together with the keys activates layer macros. I've been working with Toolbox for several weeks and I love how it has enhanced my workflow. It makes speed edit in Capture One tangible and faster. The macro commands are the real killer feature here that extends Capture One capabilities. So, learn more about Toolbox by the link below the video and don't forget to save $10 with Alex on raw code.